Oh, here goes Mr. Beast, look at him. Oh, you big bully. Mr. Beast, you are a bully, I was right. Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, you can see I just threw some bacon wrapped chicken thighs on the old Pit Boss pellet smoker. I've been using this thing a lot lately. Um, Brandy and the girls left me this weekend. Uh, they've been out of town in, in St. Louis. I had to stay home for some reasons I won't discuss on the video. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of out of my control type of deal. So I didn't get to watch Hayden's jiu-jitsu matches. Um, but if you caught yesterday's video, I talked a little bit about it. She got bumped up to all the boys division because there's no girls in her uh, class and weight and, and experience so she got bumped up she got two golds one silver and one bronze so she placed in all four divisions and we're pretty happy uh, happy about that uh, she's got her own channel i'll probably post uh, videos of that when they get back um, it's called hayden riley so you can go check out um, her videos when she does the jiu jitsu and all that stuff uh, but in today's video hope the girls get back pretty soon because this is going to be ready i think just in time for dinner um, i want to throw a vlog out for you guys i'm gonna go out there and feed the pigs and uh, talk a little bit about pigs today so i've, I've came across several youtubers that are kind of struggling with their pigs here lately and uh, i want to go out there and discuss um, raising pigs things uh, things to do things not to do and uh, we're going to feed them too mr beast is getting huge um, so i think you guys will enjoy today's farm vlog um i don't think the girls are gonna be back in time to get on camera if they do i'll show them if not i'll get this posted this evening for you guys it's already getting late in the evening like i said this is going to be done just in time for dinner uh so i right, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you do smash that like button and if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe look at that there's a snake underneath there that's the second snake we've had out here in like a week look at it oh it's dusty back there what are you doing? Get out of here. You don't go right into the house. You don't need that. Yep. <laughs> Probably a bunch of snakes in there. Where'd he go? Oh, I do see something I don't like. Besides a snake. That would be big old black widow and a big old spider those those banana spiders don't hurt now we've been kind of leaving that one but that black widow it's got to go and that little snake where'd it go he disappeared I don't know where that went. Where'd it go? I popped it and it disappeared. What are y'all doing, Lily? <laughs> let's go feed the pigs boy it is hot out here today it's been hot this whole weekend um, like i said earlier i need to go out to the off-grid property and get the i think i told you guys i need to go get the tractor you gotta take it back tomorrow and uh, i was gonna do some more sawing out there but i don't know if i'm gonna have time because i'm waiting on brandy the girls to get home to eat dinner with them and uh, then i need to go out there before it gets dark so we'll just kind of we'll kind of play it by by ear and see if i'll have time to go out there and do any more work huh all right, we'll be back in just a second. All right, I ain't got the girls here today to open the gates. It's always good to keep one of the kids back. Just to get out and open the gates for you. I'll go ahead and just leave this open and go so I don't ever try to get out. Look at them, they know what time it is. They know I'm gonna come out here and feed the pigs, and they're gonna try to get some. Come on, Grace, you stay out, you leave them alone. <laughs> what? What? You guys are down in that water. Whoa, you just got ran over. Now, Mr. Beast, are you going to be a bully like normal? <laughs> I don't have a lot of scraps for you, but I got a bunch of hog feed. Okay? I'm thinking I may end up taking that one out, that water out, and switch it with the goats because the goats aren't drinking as much as you would think they do. You got to be about out of food. 
Take this. Look at him. Oh, oh really? Yep, that one's dry. Oh, there, now I came out here and there's a big old bullfrog in there. Let's check this one. I bet this one's about empty too, if it ain't. Yep, it's empty too. We're gonna to top you guys off. Hold on, hold on. Don't get my finger. Don't get my finger. Quit, you're getting my finger. Oh yeah, you need some too, don't you? All right, let's do this. Would you ladies get back? Gabby, you leave them alone. Learn some manners. Y'all need to learn your manners. Oh, the orange family homestead snobs over there, one right there. They're all over the place. They'll like that. So the problem I was having a couple of years ago when I put these bigger waters in here for them, even though they got access to 300 gallons of uh, fresh, clean water in the water nipple, and they've been using it. I got pictures of that. And I posted my story. So I look like they're going to make a big wall out of there. I probably shouldn't have done that. But anyways, what they would do is they would get inside there and just lay down and uh, like go to sleep in it. Um, so it was getting even dirtier than this one is. See, these ones are so small. Uh, they can't actually get in there. They can knock these over, but they're drinking that like in two days. They're just sucking it down and they're avoiding the other one for the most part. So I got a little treat for them. Let's see how Mr. Is Mr. Beast is going to act. I'm going to go over here in the shade. I don't have very many scraps because, the, like I said, Brandon and the girls left me for the weekend and uh, we didn't do a lot of cooking at home. The only cooking I did did was some chicken and I didn't have a lot of leftovers. Really? Oh my gosh, look how freaking stout he is. Or she is. That'd be scary out in the wild. Now, I did not mean to make a wall right there. That wasn't a very good idea. Alright. You want one of these cookies? I haven't, been I haven't been eating sugar, so I'm getting rid of these. Come here. Come here. Everyone says you don't get fed enough. Get your cookie. Don't, you're eating right through the metal thing. There you go. We'll give you two of them. You want two of them? You want two of them? I'm gonna get my finger. Got two of them. Almost got two of them. Oh yeah, come here. Come here. Get it, get it. He got it. Oh, he dropped it again. Oh, here goes Mr. Beast. Look at him. Oh, you big bully. Mr. Beast, you are a bully. I was right. Here, watch this. Oh, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. He pushed him around. Right there, get it. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. Little guy. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Hurry, hurry. Got it, he got it. He got it. Some of it. Get back, Gabby. Get it. Oh, he got it again. Finish it. All right. Okay. I'm going for it. Mr. Beast quit being a bully. Now, there's not many scraps. I know you guys didn't get on to me. Say, ah, they're not getting their fair share. He's got about three cookies now. I think he's good to go. Come here. There, get it. Oh, Mr. Beast, he's just smelling it a little. He's getting that. Look at that. He's trying to get that. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> he's like freaking Goliath. There's a reason why he's named Mr. Beast. Because he is a beast. And he's the only male we got. Sorry, you probably already about ate all the scraps. I did not have very many at all. Man, look at how big he is. I bet he's already pushing. He's over, over 200 pounds already. I can't believe how stocky and muscled up and big that one is. We do have a feed trough over there, but they keep knocking it over. It don't hurt pigs to eat off here. It's fine. Always get those one comments. Would you like to eat off the ground? No, I wouldn't. Uh, but I'm not a wild animal. Well, these ones aren't really wild, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, it does not bother them. They actually, I think, probably prefer to root around for the scraps. Let's switch this up. Okay. I'll let you guys look at the pigs for a minute. I'll get back and talk to you in just a second.
don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. <laughs> they were jumping up here. All right, let's give them some feed while that's filling up. Hey, get back. Look at this. They're not my camera. Nope, not today. You've got plenty over there. Gabby, get back. Gracie, Mr. Beast has had to come over here now. You've got plenty, dude. Leave the females alone, leave the women alone. Those goats go absolutely crazy whenever you got feed around here. It's funny and it's kind of annoying too. Um, lesson number one do not keep your pigs with your goats because it will be impossible uh, to feed them, as you could tell. Uh, before I start talking about pigs though, I got a crazy comment yesterday. And I posted on my story on my story my YouTube story and uh, it didn't bother me but it was just really really entertaining to me that she this lady would even say this but she I uh, showed a couple new tools that I bought uh, for myself and for my family obviously when you buy stuff for yourself it's for the family uh, she said it I'm gonna quit watching you because everything you buy or everything you say is I and me you just buy stuff for yourself you don't buy for your kids and your wife and uh, boy you're just gonna save the economy I spent like 70 bucks on some uh, tools that are on sale and for her to even make that comment it was just entertaining to me it's like I, I, I pinned it and I said you jo you're joking right and a uh, bunch of y'all uh, went in there I like doing that whenever someone leaves a dumb uh, comment like that I'll pin it that way you guys can see it and talk to them and and mouth them whatever you want to do <laughs> and uh, a lot of y'all did it was pretty funny uh, but she ended up deleting her comment and uh, she had been watching us for a while I bet she has 70 or 80 comments on here and I don't know what just it tri what triggers people but something always seems to trigger somebody and it's like you just can't win with some people um, so I didn't, it didn't bother me but I just wanted to show you this I do buy stuff without saying I do Gabby I did not think you was gonna get in there that was one I was gonna say I did this too so you wouldn't get in there Ugh. let me shut this up oh hold on let me shut up hold on a second I wore my good shoes out here and I know better than that. Got them all muddy, stuffed in poop. Uh, anyways, I'm filling, I will fill up their waller again. Um, anyways, like I was saying, I, she, she said I don't buy my kids now. Let me show you this. I do buy my wife kids stuff. Check this out. I showed this on my story too. I got them a pepper spray. Hayden calls them peppermint. Hayden's been wanting me to get her some pepper spray, just keeping her little purse or whatnot. Um, but I got her some pepper spray, a little bracelet and i got brandy i got her some pepper spray too so i do buy them stuff see see what i'm saying they they all they'll they'll enjoy that if someone comes at them they could defend themselves okay anyways gracie please don't get inside there <laughs> i do buy them stuff but i thought that was entertaining and like i said i don't know what triggers some people but sometimes they'll be your best friend for months and maybe even years and all of a sudden you say one wrong thing or do something that they don't agree with and you're absolutely the devil the things that people usually go to and it's usually non-christians and people who say they're christians or and they're not christians also um any little thing i say or do they then they question your your walk with christ uh, i show about 10 to 25 minutes depending on the video uh, several times a week to you guys you don't see everything and uh for, for people to question i've never said or done anything on this channel to question i know the majority y'all agree with that but 
when they do say it, it's like do you make no sense and when people say that and you're a real and you're truly a christian like myself you see right through it um you're not you're not blind you know exactly what they're doing and it's it's just one of them things i just hit delete and block and i didn't i didn't delete the lady yesterday i just pinned her comment she said she's in quit watching but we'll see and she knows who she is i'm sure she's watching this one um, but yeah anyways i'll get off that this world's hard enough as it is and to put yourself out on youtube um, you better be prepared for it. i've said i've preached this to you guys before and uh i've been kicking around i don't know i've been kicking around sponsoring sponsoring a kid a, a, a kid's channel not a kid's channel a channel for a young adult you might say from the ages of 13 um, to 16. i've been kicking around sponsoring someone um, i don't know of anyone local that um that i personally know that are interested in youtube but something i've been kicking around uh maybe uh mentoring them uh showing them the ropes if that's something they're interested in i don't know leave me some comments down below um, if your age is between 13 and 16 years old, um, that you might show interest in that, um, of me helping you out, mentoring you when it comes to YouTube. I, if you guys haven't caught on by now, I really enjoy helping other YouTubers. Um, and I'm not just saying this to toot my own horn, but you don't see it a lot. You don't see that a lot. And I, I, that's just the heart I have is I like, I like helping other people. I think you guys see that through the videos, but I would like to get, I would like to get someone... I've been thinking about it. I need to talk to Brandy a little bit about it, of uh, really of, of sponsoring someone that lives the lifestyle that we live, the homesteading, the more self-reliant, even off-grid. Uh, obviously, their parents would have to be okay with it, but just not that I'm kicking around. It's not, I haven't, I'm not throwing it out there. Um, if I get enough interest, maybe I'll do it. Interest, interest. If I get enough interest, uh, maybe I'll do that. But leave me some comments down below if you guys think that'd be something that you guys would support too if I found someone... Um, to do that anyway so let's get to the pigs i kind of rambling on there let's get to the pigs um i've noticed uh, here recently um pig problems pig problems people are having and it's the same issues i've had throughout the years uh, so if you're watching someone else's youtube channel and you see they're having issues with um just in general uh, some of the issues i had was my pigs getting out pigs not growing enough sick pigs if you see that that doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing that's just gabby get out of there come on you got your own go up there she got back in there. That's just part of raising animals. Um, I got I get sick pigs, and, I, and I've been doing this going on seven, eight years now. I get sick pigs. I get pigs that get out and all that. They haven't got out this this setup except for the very first day. I let them in. They ran right out. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, so don't knock people um, if they have struggles. It's the reality of it. We all have struggles. Um, but one thing I want to tell you guys: if you are wanting to get into raising animals, I suggest pigs. They're my favorite animal to raise, and I just like watching them. And they they got really good personalities, and they provide a lot of food for your family uh, when i first started this channel i showed a lot of a lot of that um how to build pig pens and do all that stuff we've kind of went more into the vlog style um, not just the how-to videos anymore um, but pigs are i highly recommend right now with everything going on in this world uh and around here anyways it's hard to get a, a butcher date so learning how to process your own animals is really important um, i've processed a couple pigs um, wild ones uh, nothing like professional i've done i've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of deer i did a little bit out on the side years ago and uh, to make a little bit extra money for the family so i could process goats and uh, chickens and deer um, pigs i can do it um, but i don't know like the, the actual how to do the actual cuts something you can look up but yeah if you guys are wanting to be more self-reliant um, i would definitely recommend getting into the pigs and then chickens chickens are you pretty much have those in town um, maybe not a rooster but get into chickens and then if you got enough area which you don't take i showed showed you guys last year the premier one fencing that you can raise them you can raise them in a small area um till the time you get them to the butcher date so you can do it. you don't have to have if you have a quarter acre you can do about everything you want on a quarter acre and realistically if we didn't have the goats grazing on two acres um everything that we do is about on a half acre to a quarter acre honestly um i got the other five and six or i got 10 acres here but we don't only we use we use two acres of it just for the grazing part of it and raising the pigs right here so realistically you can do a lot on a very amount of small land so yeah if you guys got any questions about raising pigs or anything like that, um, shoot me some emails. Shoot me some emails, uh, some comments. I try, we get a lot of comments and, and stuff I try to get to if I can. If not, you guys know it is. You're probably more likely to get me um, if it's not. Probably probably on email. My email should be in the description um, if you have any like legit questions about raising them. They're super easy to do. I highly recommend getting these automatic feeders. Now, if you notice a lot of my 
friends that have YouTube channels. Um, I did this this year. I've never done it like this this year. I'm, just, I'm not the only ones that have done this, but this is the first time I've ever done it. Well, about three or four of my YouTube friends have done the same thing, and they absolutely love this, how you put the feeder through the fence. I mean, I'm telling you, that's a game changer. The only problem you have is when you got your goats out here with them and they try to get in there. But it's absolutely, it's that's the only way I'll, I'll ever do it anymore. So if you're going to get pigs, definitely get automatic feeders, put them through the fence. There's automatic water right here. And uh, when that one goes dry, they come over here and get all the water they want out of it. I'm really big into autom the automatic setup. Some people will feed them daily. Um, I like the automatic setup because I work out of, towns a lot, out of town a lot. And I don't want to depend on uh, Brandy and the girls have to come out here and feed the pigs every single day if I'm not here. So I try to make their life a lot easier by making my life easier for the pigs. Uh, so it all works out. But you can see... We got four healthy pigs, and uh, we have a small pig just like uh, my friends Alex and Jacob. Um, they come to mind. Um, they got several. Of their pigs are, are smaller, and they're worried about uh, maybe they're they're not meat and weight. You know that just that's just part of it. Um, that one actually lost a little weight at first, and I warmed them, and they, they start gaining weight again. And I bumped the protein up on them too, and they've really been putting the weight on. So if you got pigs that are underweight, um, you guys can you can bump up their protein and that's what i've done except for this batch because they ran out i've been putting on the show hog it's the 18 percent and uh, that's really making all muscled up and uh and uh, really putting the weight on and i'll switch probably the last 45 days i'll go back to the finisher and probably start mixing corn in with it my um, old timers say when you put corn in with pigs um, it actually makes the meat taste a lot better and i've done that before the last 30 days just feeding straight corn and i've never done a side-by-side -side taste comparison it's always something i kind of wanted to do but you tell these these pigs are doing good I've, i had the other two sick pigs um, from the spots that they just never were thriving i just i don't know we we docked them we warmed them we did all that and, and we lost them sometimes you just lose some but let's go take a look at mr beast and i'm gonna wrap this video up mr beast is still going at it look just look how much bigger hey hey what are you doing what you doing you're still being a bully you're not letting them get in there <laughs> don't worry they're getting their fair share of feed we got two feeders like you see but okay i'm gonna get off here if you got any questions about raising pigs or anything like that uh, leave me some comments down below and even if i don't get to them i'll have a lot of awesome subscribers that will see your comments too and uh, there's a lot a lot uh, a lot of people out there are very knowledgeable in raising these animals they'll probably answer your question for you if i can't get to it um, but pigs are simple so uh if that's something you want to do i highly recommend it that's all i got for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed sunday's vlog i wish the girls and brandy were here but like i said earlier they left before the weekend but hayden did really good in her tournament and uh, i'll try to get them on camera in the next few days so thanks for watching guys thanks i love you guys thanks for all the support you give us and uh catch you on the next video thanks for watching oh, i couldn't get off here without showing you guys the chicken looking good i'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the heat up on i put it on there just to prevent flare-ups because i knew i was gonna be out working uh, i'm gonna turn the heat up and that's really gonna start cooking I need to get my Dutch Eats uh, channel going back again. I haven't posted in a while. Thumbs up if you guys want to see some more Dutch Eats videos.